my habits have been in shambles, girl. And while I've been trying to become my best version, I have to be super intentional about how I spend my time, what habits I have on a daily basis, because it really dictates what direction I'm going in my life. If I want to be that girl, which everyone should have their own definition of what that is, how does she act? What does she do? What are her habits? And I'm working to align those in this video. channel if this is your very first time here my name is Maya and y'all we are getting our life together in this vlog in this video we're gonna be focusing on our habits y'all I have so many habits that I am trying to lock into place but unfortunately bad habits are hard to break they're really hard to break. And there's some things that I'm trying to disconnect myself from. And baby, I'm struggling. <laughs> but I feel like there's so much content out there about becoming that woman, becoming that girl. And though, you know, we, we get with the cute content, like we do that. But I feel like so many people are telling you to be the same person. I feel like the majority of that type of content is pushing you towards being this Pilates princess being this soft woman and like all of these things like there's this persona now it's cute I ain't gonna lie to you baby I, I definitely want the soft life <laughs> but that is not the only goal for elevation we're all on different wavelengths we all want different things we all have different lives different purposes so in this video I want to share my personal journey of the habits that I'm trying to build to be my elevated version yes it has some of the cute aesthetic vibes whatever in it but that is not the only way to elevate i just wanted to start this video off with that psa because so many of us are just locked into what the influencers are telling us to do and how they're telling us to level up and glow up and elevate when i think we should be taking that as inspiration to figure out what does elevation look like in my life? What does glowing up look like for me? So I say all that to say, I am trying to have better habits, child. And we're gonna start with this morning. I just woke up and we're about to head downstairs and do things. So morning routine coming up, roll the tape. <laughs> like crazy which is why it's pretty much empty 
but I'm gonna go into this and just go really light. It's really just to like even out my skin. A lot of people use this as a primer, but I think it's great to just blur the skin. And I'm gonna be honest, I've been so serious about my skincare that I don't even really think I need this. And it's mostly even, I got under eye bags, but I like how this just evens my skin tone out and it's like literally the perfect shade. I sweeped it on my eyes too, cause my eyes tend to be a little bit darker than the rest of my face. So if you don't have this, I would say like a skin tint or like a tinted moisturizer type of vibe. Next, I'm gonna take a concealer. This is my LYS Triple Fix Full Coverage Concealer. This is in DG6. I wanna take one that's not too, too light cause though I wanna brighten, I don't want to, I don't want it to be like Kim K bright underneath, you know? I'm gonna take a little bit down the nose just to define it and just a smidge there to lift. And that's it. I'm gonna spray this with some all nighter real quick. Just so that it sits down a little bit, it dries down. I wish I had my fan. My fan is in my bathroom and I don't feel like going to get it. So we're not gonna go get it. <laughs> and then I'm just gonna take my beauty blender and just blend this out. I have noticed that using a brush actually blends it out better. It doesn't take, pick up the product. But child, um, we're just gonna roll with this right now. I always feel like concealers need it though because it does help to balance out. That way you don't look like an egg. It kind of brings that dimension back in. I'm gonna go in with a powder. I usually like to mix like a translucent and a medium deep powder. That usually gives me like the milky tone that I really want. I like my under eyes or like my brighter areas. And then for the rest of the face, I'm gonna take like a fluffier brush and go into a medium deep powder all over just so that we're not shiny. Next, we're gonna do a blush, and this one is from One Size. This is the Cheek Clapper. I take the middle one, which is the powder. I love that this one is a deeper tone, which is perfect for my skin tone. And we're pretty much done, y'all. Like, this is all I wanted to do. Like, I'm not gonna define my nose anymore. I'm not gonna go into any bronzer or anything. I just want it to look very clean and natural. Y'all, they making so much noise outside cutting my grass. Like, they literally decided to do this side of the house as I started to film. Then I'm gonna put on a mascara. This one is from Well People. And I love a mascara that has very like skinny bristles on it. That way I know it won't be clumpy and they really like separate my lashes for the look that I want. Now if I did what I wanted to do right now, I would put on a black wing. But we ain't gonna, do I'm gonna fight the urge. I'm gonna fight the urge though. I'm gonna fight it. Cause that's gonna defeat the purpose of this being a very soft, quick and that girl type of look. And when I say that girl, I mean that girl for me. This is the vibe that I want to do when I'm just throwing on something to go run errands. Cause usually my errands face is a full face. We're trying to get away from that. But if that's your thing, sis, I wanna see the full face. After that, a little lip gloss or lip oil. This is just a Mario lip balm that gives like a glossy look. But very just, I woke up like this lips. And that's the look girl. I love it. This is our new we're gonna run errands look. Very elevated, very cute, very chic, very quick. I wanna start doing this and get used to look at, looking at myself like this. Cause the thing is, I'm so used to seeing myself with that full, full face that I always feel like I'm missing something when I don't have certain elements of that. And for me personally, I feel like this looks a lot cleaner. It looks a lot more natural and I really love that for me. New habit <laughs> is doing our makeup like this when we're running errands instead of doing a full, full face. And I think it's really pretty. So let's go to the room, let's pick out an outfit and get dressed. Yeah. Yeah. Bad little flex, she wanna know me. I stay low key, y'all cast no breaks, baby. Let them hold sleep. Body on to make your girl OD. I get in my way, never out of my lane. Feel like you the one and I'm on one. So what is gonna be? Baby squad up, we finna go deep. We're gonna put on some very simple jewelry. I feel like this is the outfit for very simple jewelry. As if I don't wear simple jewelry all the time. But I'm just gonna put on these little gold uh hoops. These are from H&M. And then we also have very simple, like dainty jewelry. This is also from H&M. Um, I told myself that I was gonna start like getting jewelry that was more expensive or quality. And I am gonna do that. But for my girls who can't afford, you know, $50 rings, girl, go to H&M. They got some of the cutest rings. Some of them are more bulky and some of them are more dainty like this, whatever it is that you want your aesthetic to be. They got you. I ain't got... <laughs> I'm gonna get to it. This gonna work for now. 
<laughs> Next, let's pick a fragrance because we want to smell good. So I want to smell very clean and feminine today. So I've already made it a habit of mine to obviously do my elevated casual vibes. Your girl is, it's got it figured out. <laughs> but getting more into fragrance has been a game changer for me because I like to smell very feminine most of the time. But these clean scents, y'all, from Way, they're like the perfect like every day scents. And shout out to Way for sponsoring today's vloggy vlog, keeping the lights on for you, girl. But they have so many different fragrances. I have three of them. The one we're gonna wear today is Melrose Place. I love love this scent and the packaging is cute too it definitely matches the aesthetic and i have two other way fragrances too let me grab them y'all dior follows me everywhere <laughs> i also have dean street which is a super clean scent and then this one as well but what i love is that way actually puts this fragrance into their hair products as well we love that so not only do people get a nice little whiff of scent when you walk by from your body but your hair too girl don't let it be blowing in the wind <laughs> recently on my hair i've been using their hair oil i use that a lot because it does help to protect like my color and protect from heat but also they have an anti-frizz cream baby and let me tell y'all <laughs> i have been struggling with having frizzy hair at the top especially since my hair is a little old we need to um redo it or get it done fine don't judge me i put up right here when i was using it yesterday you pretty much just apply it to like your clean wet hair while it's damp and then you can either air dry or blow dry it i went ahead and blow dried my hair and then i straightened it so that we can do the straight hair so once i straightened my leave out then i did my sew in and girl it's giving no frizz and i love that for me since we're taking ourselves up a notch our life our wardrobe and our hair i want you guys to frizz free up your schedule with way go to t-h-e-o-u-a-i.com slash my galore for 15 percent off any product again that's t-h-e-o-u-a-i.com slash my galore so you can get your 15 percent off sis all right so i'm not sure what bag i'm gonna use. matter of fact i am sure what bag we're gonna wear this is the sole reason that I purchased this Coach Tabby bag is because it's very elevated, but it's also casual. And I feel like this outfit, this, hold up, let me angle y'all down so you can see. It goes perfectly with the vibes of the fit. Um, I'm running errands, so more than likely, it's nice outside, but it ain't so nice that I need to have my toes out. So I'm probably gonna put tennis shoes on with this, black tennis shoes. And this is the vibes, so. Let's go find some earrings. You don't care what you're doing to me. I've been down in the ruins so deep. All the games they play, all the love you've forsaken, you let it slip away. Oh, 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 oh. You don't care what you're doing to me. Every setback, every mishap, every time you say you gon' change Say you get it, you regret it, I forgive it, but you stay the same You should cry an ocean for me For the dumb shit and the damage you've done Cause I've been crying oceans for weeks Try to fight it, but I'm drowning now. We just got back from the grocery store and before we get to talking I'm about to get some micro links. If you watch me, you know that my hair right here at the front is super like short because of all the heat I've been putting on it. I've been wearing so ends for two years now. And my favorite thing is to do this middle part. My edges are still there, but like this hair right here is so short. And y'all, that's gonna be a no for me. Also, I feel like as I am on this journey of getting better, elevating all these things, girl, I gotta get this hair together. I have been thinking this heavy lately. And I'm like, I wanna try something new. I wanna try something effortless. So I think we're gonna do micro links probably next week. Um, next Sunday's video is already filmed, it's sponsored. But the following video, y'all probably, y'all gonna see. Y'all gonna see because girl, we have got to get this hair to together i am almost certain that that's what i would like to do also with that 
I'm probably going to relax my hair. Um, I am no longer really wearing my natural hair, so I'm not really, I'm a little detached from my curls. I shared with you guys the reason why I was natural and wearing my hair out. Those reasons are kind of invalid now, so, girl, I think that's what we're about to do. We're about to go ahead and relax this hair, do some micro lengths, and take it up a notch. And the reason why I chose my micro lengths, too, is because I really want to make it a habit of keeping up with my hair and making my hair match the, the vibes you know like if i'm gonna take everything else up i need to do that too so i chose micro lengths because i have the short hair up here i feel like she can make this hair longer versus if it was any other thing like a sew in or quick weave or whatever that they wouldn't be able to do that so i'm excited um i'm really excited for that because girl we need to be we need to get it together yeah, that was just a little side note, but we are going to form that habit to get this hair together. I might even try a little color. We're going to see. <laughs> but we are about to do our meal prep. My health and fitness journey has taken a back seat for me, and I hate that for me. Just to be completely honest, eating and food has been a comfort zone for me, which is not good. Given the last two years that have been really, really tough and hard for me, that was my outlet. I gained 15, was it 20 pounds? I think it was 15 pounds. And though I had lost about 12 pounds of that in like September, but I've been fluctuating um, just from still going through a lot of things and just trying to detach myself from that period in my life. But now I think I'm in the place where I am ready to really like hit it hard. I don't know if it's a good or a bad thing, but when I'm working y'all, I don't eat. And for me, that's actually, that's a bad thing because my metabolism is already slow. So when I'm not giving my body food and allowing it to work, girl, it's just all bad. I am committed, committed. Now that I've got myself on a schedule content wise, I'm ahead of the game. And especially since I'm about to get my hair done, cause y'all, you know, we'd be concerned about the hair. I don't want it to be a concern. That's why I'm about to go ahead and relax my hair, get the micro links so that I can really give this my all. I'm giving it my all in every area of my life, except for that one. We gotta change that, girl. We can be, child, I don't even know what this body gonna look like come summertime. Like, it can be amazing. Like, I've never seen how good I can look since I've got my BBL. So, girl, we finna get it. We finna get it together. Y'all, poor Dior. I'm so used to her picking up random stuff off the floor. She has her food in her mouth. And I just ran after her to get it out. <laughs> anyway, yes, we are about to do some meal prepping, y'all. Last two weeks, I've been doing really great on my meal prepping. And I really just make the same thing over and over. I'll make, like, my chicken and broccoli with sweet potatoes. Then I'll make my shrimp, zucchini, and tomato pasta. And then usually in the mornings, I'm eating, like, eggs and avocado or oatmeal. If I do snack, usually it's like grapes and pistachios. That's what I've been doing. But recently I've been going out to eat so much that I feel like I've been defeating the purpose and then I've been sitting around and not being active. So anyway, child, that's enough talking from me. <laughs> Let's go ahead and prep some news. You don't care what to do to me. I've been down in the ruins so deep All the games they you play of a love you forsaken You let it slip away Oh, 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 oh. You don't care what you're doing to me Every setback, every mishap Every time you say you gon' change Say you get it, you regret it I forgive it, but you stay the same you should cry an ocean for me For the dumb shit and the damage you've done Cause I've been crying oceans for weeks Try to fight it but I'm drowning alone Sister save me now Save me now Whoa. Sister save me now Save me now Whoa. Shed a tear for me, baby, if you dare Maybe then it would show me that you care Cause your words never match what you do, how you act So I can't just take you back
should cry an ocean for me. Hey y'all. So, it's a lot later. <laughs> um, I'm actually about to head upstairs to do my nighttime routine. Finally, it is way past my bedtime. It is 11.43 at night, but I just got done working. Um, I have literally been working 12 to 14 hour days. It'd be 10 to 14 hour days. I had a couple 10 hour days since it's been over a week. <laughs> but I'm happy because I'm putting myself ahead of the game. I'm getting all my content out, I'm posting every day, everywhere. And um, we're good and we're happy and we're making it happen. I told myself that this is what I was gonna do and I'm getting rid of that spirit of procrastination and lack of motivation. I am doing it. So it is gonna take a few couple weeks of long hours. That is what it is. But eventually, like I'm putting myself on a schedule and I'm not gonna have to have long days like this. But at the beginning, you gotta put in that work. I'm about to do one of the habits that I have implemented in the past week um, since I've been working pretty heavily. And that is making sure that I am planning for every day. Hold up, I have a video going up tomorrow. So I just finished it. I'm about to upload that onto YouTube. So I've implemented a habit to where every Sunday I have been planning overall for my week, but every evening I'll get on my computer and I will make a to-do list on my reminders of everything that I have to do on the next day. This has been helping me to stay on track, to do everything that I need to do. And with me trying to like, you know, kind of take my work and my career up a notch, planning, <laughs> has been like a game changer for me. Like literally I've had over a week where I have been productive every single day and that has not happened since before, since before I got married. And so I am really proud of myself because I got to the point where I actually thought, did I lose it? Like, did I lose my mojo? Like, can I get it back or? And I realized, no, I did not lose it. I am very much capable of doing what I need to do. I just needed to implement some things and some habits that I had never done before. Okay, so like I said, I'm about to make my to-do list. But let me show y'all, I've literally had a to-do list every day since last week. Wednesday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, things I need to do for a brand. Um, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. I'm missing a couple of days, but I still was working all day those days. So anyway, we need to make a new list. Let's go pink, I like it, that pale pink color. Let's do, um, oh, I already have a list. Wait a minute, I just realized it. So as of right now, I have these five things going on tomorrow. I need to post the vlog that I'm uploading right now. I need to post on Instagram and TikTok. I need to also put shorts on there too. I need to finish filming this video, <laughs> um, which is for Sunday. I need to edit it and submit it to Brianna tomorrow. This is my last full day of crazy work. Like this is gonna be an all day thing. And then I am going to unapologetically do absolutely nothing on Thursday and Friday. I have some plans this weekend. Um, I'm going to brunch with Yannique on Saturday and then I'm going to dinner and out with my friend Drea on Saturday night. And, and then Sunday I have church and lunch with my friend Katan. Amira's gonna be at her dad's this weekend. So I have some social stuff going on this weekend, but Thursday and Friday, baby, we gonna be in the bed. And I deserve that and I cannot Anyway, y'all, I'm about to do my linking real quick so I don't have to do it tomorrow. And then we are going to go into our nighttime routine. Alexa, turn on smooth jazz. Here's a playlist you might like. Relax and smooth jazz. the end of the weekend but i still wanna turn up yeah i still wanna turn up all i want is to go again but you ain't picking your phone up why you messing my head up any night any day let me take you away all i need is just saying yeah 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 better nights better days when you're here with me babe cause you're all 
love that I crave, so I wonder Where are you? Where are you? Where are you? Don't hide away from me when I need you most We got love guaranteed and I have to know, say Just pick up your phone, tell me where you'll be, cause I gotta know Let me know when you're ready, cause I made reservations Too many invitations, and the last night was heavy, heavy. I need communication, tell me where's your location Used to talk 24-7, every other Good morning seven. loves, happy Thursday we are about to go and move our body. <laughs> I'm spraying my hair because I want to get these curls back in it. I am taking this hair down tomorrow and I cannot be happier about it. Anyway, we're about to get dressed to go to the park. I am going to take Dior with me. Um, this will be her first time going to like a public park to walk. So we're going to see how that goes. I want to get back into the habit of really like moving my body. Um, I have literally been so, so, so much of a couch potato not necessarily on the couch but I just have not been moving around and I want to make it a habit that I get back into walking daily and working out daily so I'm not gonna front and act like I've been working out because I have not been working out um I want to be though and I feel like next week I'll be able to start moving my body and dedicating time to that next week because I've been working so hard. Like I told you guys last night, I've been working like long. Yesterday I worked for 15 hours. But as of next week, I should be on a solid schedule where I can start to make this a habit every morning for me. It is a little cool outside. It's like, I want to say it's like almost 50 degrees. So I'm going to just wear this hoodie with these leggings and a sports bra and I'm going to throw on my hat. I think I'm going to wear this white Nike hat that I bought last week. Very cute. I might do my little swoop right here just so I look somewhat decent. Put on some earrings. Dior, why are you chewing on my... Dior. No. Get off my hat, Dior. No. Come say hello to the girls. Y'all, this puppy, she's getting cuter by the day, but she just chews and eats on everything. <laughs> I love you, Dior. I love you. But yeah, I'm gonna do my little swoop and then we might even change the head. I don't know. I feel like it's doing a lot. It's Maya. I'm gonna see y'all. <laughs> need to pack my stuff into my thing. But let's get the puppy in her harness. I know she probably has to. She's going. I feel like she's been developing um, separation anxiety. She's so clingy and she sparks like crazy when we leave. So. Gotta figure out how to fix that, but how is this Dior? It's a little tight. Let's come loosen it up. Cause you're getting big. You're the big girl. You a big girl, Dior. There we go. That's better. That's better. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I'm gonna put my stuff in my fanny pack. I haven't been active, so my Apple Watch is dead. I'm, I'm really upset about that, but it's gonna be fine. I need to grab a couple poop bags for the baby. Are you ready to go, Mom? I'm gonna put you guys on my small tripod and let's go to the park. Right, y'all, it's baby's first time at the park and she is so stimulated. <laughs> okay, so we are gonna walk with her. Hopefully this goes well. We're walking, we're walking. I know, come on. Good girl, that's a good baby. Oh, there's the grass, okay. So y'all, I came up to Alexander Park in Gwinnett County. I've been here a nice amount of times. I like this park, so I'm familiar with it. So I wanted to bring her somewhere I was familiar with. Come on, Dior. Oh, child, this is gonna be work. She can't come with me next time. We're gonna have to get used to this. Bye, Dior. I'm leaving. Bye, Dior. Y'all, Dior done made some friends. Now she all happy tail wagging. <laughs> she gets so happy when she sees new people. She's so friendly. So y'all, whether I'm walking like outside of the park or if I am on my treadmill, I try to, before I was just listening to music, but now I try to habit stack. So 
while I'm trying to get my walk in, you know, while we're trying to build that habit back. Come on, Dior. If I'm not listening to music, then I want to listen to podcasts. There's a couple of podcasts that I've been listening to. I will put them up on the screen right here. Um, I've been listening to these on and off for the past, like, six months, and I love them so, so much. I'm looking to add some new ones to my list, so if you have any recommendations for me and for the girls, make sure you guys put that in the comment section for everybody. But I love listening to podcasts that will push me forward you know that will push me towards just being a better me being more feminine being in my feminine energy getting closer to god just all of the things so come on dior if you have any recommendations like that for the girls let us know dior is giving me a run for my money right now y'all like i can barely keep up with her so i'm gonna put the camera away uh throw my music on i'm gonna turn on that sunday so uh playlist and finish walking with her trying to get her to come on come on dior <laughs> and i'm gonna see you guys after this i'll probably stop and get some iced coffee or something cute so let's do it yeah better one baby yeah yeah you got better when you met me a minute you said you done trusting but you did it both low key but i really know you with it why you not your line when you really got them digits i'm obsessed i'm like yes ain't no stress you the best i'm obsessed i'm like yes ain't no stress you the best look how you get so good at being modest girl be honest you said you done trusting these niggas made yourself a promise i hate to make you take it back i've been getting paid for rap ain't talking about the drums when i tell you i can make it clap had to make you wait for that you intrigued with conversation you yeah, I need to get my hair done because at this point i'm self-conscious like i feel like we need like a full like beauty maintenance vlog because girl we need the hair done, we need our lashes filled, we need to microblade the brows, we need to, girl, just do all of the things. So, I think I might wear a hat today. Ain't nothing funny when your hair ain't done. I'm just feeling very self-conscious right now, so. Um, we are about to do the same kind of vibe face that we did yesterday. I want it to be very skin-like, very natural. I'm gonna use my eavesdrop from Fenty Beauty. This is in 21, which I know I couldn't do no full vlog about habits to be that girl or that woman without talking about solo dating. <laughs> I'm about to just take myself to lunch. And if I'm being honest, like I actually have not taken myself out in a second. It's been a couple weeks. Well, I did film a solo date vlog, which you guys, I'm posting today. You guys should have saw that on Wednesday. Honestly, I was working and filming. That doesn't necessarily count for real. It has been a minute since I have taken myself out just to really enjoy myself and just kind of debrief myself and reflect. I'll probably just get a salad or something because I did my meal prep yesterday. So I want to keep the healthy vibes going. I've already had that ice um, latte today, which was enough sweets for the day because it does have sugar in it. I'm trying to be intentional about that. But y'all, this has been the most productive week in the past two years for me. And I'm actually really proud of myself. So I want to get in the habit of celebrating my win. Even if it can be considered a small win, I want to celebrate my wins. But for me, y'all, working this week like I have, it's not a small win for me. That's a huge win for me. I'm not doing a full face. I shouldn't have did this, but it's okay. We, we're, we're here now. <laughs> but I'm really proud because I have been talking to you guys about how I have been feeling very, I've just been very much in my feelings, going through things and just not matching the motivation that I have with the actions. And this week, getting up every day, before Amira goes to school, doing my devotions, working all day. Now, I'm not for normalizing, like, you know, working yourself to death and being super crazy productive and then you can't live your life. I just needed to do this for this week to really get my stuff together. And I'm extremely proud, extremely proud of myself. I really, like, did it that way so that I don't have to 
you know, bust my butt every single day, which is why I busted my butt for a week. And I am so proud of me. Like, I'm so proud of me. I'm so proud of me. So this little solo date is also a little celebration of myself because after I go on a solo date and come back home, this is it before I can like take two days off. And trick last Tuesday, I have been working sun up to sundown. And I am just really proud of the work that I put in. Previously, I was having weeks where like the days were just going by and I look back and I had nothing to show for that week. Like my productivity was very much down. I had the ideas, I had the things that I wanted to do, but I was not doing them. And that was eating me up. So the fact that this week I have really applied myself and did the things that I said I was going to do, I am so proud of Maya right now. So I want to get cute and take myself out real quick. But you guys know that I've already made it a habit for me to take myself out and solo date and all that. If you could label the solo date queen, it probably would be me. <laughs> and I love that for me. But when you're trying to become that best version of yourself, taking yourself out, girl, and dating yourself and being there for you and showing up for yourself and celebrating yourself and being comfortable being alone is a top tier quality. Regardless of what that girl or that woman looks like for you in particular, we all need that. This bronzer is gonna be it because it's not like we're just doing errands. We're gonna go, you know, out to a restaurant or whatever. So just do a little bit more. But we could all benefit absolutely from spending time by ourselves. And it doesn't have to be going to eat. Y'all know I just do that all, all the time. It just is what it is. But if we're like going out and doing activities by ourselves, I think that's better sometimes to try new things alone than with a, a group because the group could be like, oh my God, that was so much fun. You'd be more prone to be like, oh yeah, it was. Can't wait to do it again. When you really didn't like it. <laughs> so when you do it by yourself, you literally could like, you're giving yourself a chance to see if you like something or if you can make it a hobby or if it's something that you want to do again. Solo dating in general is just an amazing way to get to know yourself, especially if you allow it to be. A lot of us are uncomfortable getting out there and being by ourselves. So definitely take baby steps, do something that doesn't require you to sit in your aloneness completely. So like going to the movies or doing a pottery class or something that makes you active but eventually work yourself up to doing things where you're literally alone and you're sitting with your thoughts and you're able to journal and you're able to be intentional about where your mind is while you're alone. Cause that's where the real transformation and being comfortable alone comes. Like when you are comfortable sitting in your aloneness and your thoughts and you don't need anyone else there to stimulate you and you're able to really get in tune with yourself. I'm gonna do like a small brown liner. I know I said a couple vlogs ago that I wanted to get away from doing um, a deep dark black liner and I've been doing it anyway. <laughs> Habits definitely die hard, but brown I think is a lot softer and I get the look that I want without the harshness of the black, you know? So I'm just adding a small brown liner on the ends. Someone said to try blue and I never, I never thought about that. Obviously I've never tried it, but I've never even thought about that. I wonder if that would make it softer too. I just, you know, the fact that it's a color, I think is what's throwing me off. Especially if I'm like dressed in all neutral, like does it make a big deal? Is it gonna stand out? I'm gonna try it and just see what the hype is about. <laughs> But yeah, y'all, I think I'm gonna go to Saints and Council. I like it there. Um, I've been there twice before, one with my friend Janae and then once by myself for brunch. So a cute little lunch, get a salad and chill and take in the vibes and whatever. So y'all, this lash is all the way gone. Like I have no lashes right here. That's why I'll be putting on the little mascara right there. This little mascara has been saving me. I cannot believe I made it to the end of this week and I have had the same level of productivity every single day. Like, I thought I lost myself. Girl, you still got it. <laughs> I'm so proud, I'm so proud. I'm just putting on some gloss, um, this Revlon, super lustrous the gloss. This one is in snow pink. Putting a little bit in the middle and then blur blurring it out. 
And we're gonna spray the face. Natural looking soft makeup, love this for me. And let's go and throw some clothes on. I would love to be out of here in less than 30 minutes. Forever. 